Derby is where the Rolls-Royce story began and where the full force of today's announcement will be felt. 3,000 jobs are going here at the company's historic headquarters. This is a very tough decision for us because, you know, people in Derby are incredibly proud of Rolls-Royce. Um, many of them have worked for Rolls-Royce for a long time. However, we absolutely need to secure the future of Rolls-Royce in Derby. Rolls-Royce engines power aircraft like the Boeing Dreamliner. The company has had a host of problems with its Trent 1000 engine, but is making money again and the order book is heaving. Thousands of middle managers and support staff are being laid off to make Rolls-Royce more competitive. The engineering team is untouched, union members unaffected, which may explain why the union sounds so relaxed. We're hopeful that this rationalisation, once it's completed, will put the company on a footing that it continue to be successful moving forward. Warren East cut jobs at Rolls-Royce in the name of efficiency shortly after becoming chief executive in 2015. Since then, the US hedge fund Value Act Capital has bought a large stake in the business and installed a partner on the board. So was East under pressure to cut again? Well, this idea is, is about making Rolls-Royce competitive and fit for the future. Uh, and that's very much the brief that I had when I came in, actually before our larger shareholder uh, joined the register. So this hasn't anything to do with any one shareholder. This is good for all shareholders. Rolls-Royce excels at the sort of highly skilled engineering the government wants Britain to excel at. So a leaner, meaner Rolls-Royce is in the national economic interest, although that will mean little to many in Derby tonight. John Hills, News at 10.